Oh, what are you doing, Mr. Cashel? What are you doing? What are you doing? I can hear your tail. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Big stretch. <laughs> um, I have to get Berkeley from school here in just a little bit. And then I placed a Target order not too long ago because I kind of lost track of time when I was working, but I hope it's going to be ready in time to go like so that I'm trying to time it right. I'm hoping it's going to be timed out right to where I can pick Berkeley up from school and then we can just head straight to Target and pick that up because Target is like 30 minutes from my house. So I don't want to come home and then go. I would rather just go. Nothing too exciting going on in this vlog today, but I've had a lot of sponsored content lately and you guys are so great about um, not complaining about sponsored content because I, I know you guys understand like that's how I make money. That's, that's my job. I like creating videos for you guys, but if I have a brand that I genuinely want to work with, then I'm going to say yes. So I just wanted to do a video that was not sponsored. Um, because I've had so many sponsored videos this month that it's hard to find time to do a not sponsored video, if that makes sense. Um, it's not like a greed thing. It's a, this is my job. And if you guys at your job had the opportunity to make more money, I'm sure you would take the opportunity as well. If that makes sense. So if I have a brand reach out to me that I like the brand, I like the product and I want to work with them, I'll say yes. But you guys, you can ask my manager. There are so many brands I say no to. So many brands I get emails from on a daily basis that I say no to. So anyways, on that note, just wanted to explain that a little bit. Even though I know I don't have to explain anything, I just wanted to say thank you guys for bearing with me when I do have months with a lot of sponsored content. It means a lot to me. Um, and if you don't like the sponsored content, you can just fast forward right through it. You honestly don't even have to watch it. It's just um, my job. So anyways, we are going to pick up a Target order. I will do a Target haul for you guys whenever we get home. I saw you from across the room When our eyes met I never knew could feel this way and it's kind of strange don't even know your name We just got back from Target and I just unloaded everything here on the counter so I'm going to show you guys what we got. So first thing right here, I got this mini waffle maker. How cute is this? My sister-in-law makes all sorts of stuff on hers so I wanted to get one to try and then I can also use it for the kids too. Um, but it was only 10 bucks so I'm excited to try that out. This was super random but I wanted to get a little plant to go on this table right here because I just have this little candle and I thought it needed a little greenery. So I think this was like $4.99, but just super random little, little greenery piece. Got some new mascara to try. I have never tried this one, but the 
brush on it or the wand on it looks like the Lash Paradise one kind of so definitely interested to see how I like this you guys know how much I love my mascara so this is the Maybelline the falsies lash lift so we shall see got two things of my favorite sparkling water the lemon cello LaCroix I got a few boxes of mac and cheese these were like 89 cents with the uh, on the cartwheel app we got some lunchables we got three pizza ones for Brayden and then three of these turkey and cheese ones for Brody and three for Berkeley. They love to have those every once in a while. Um, I got some sausage, got some bananas, Ritz crackers, Mexican style shredded cheese, got some of this laughing cow cheese. I like to put this on bell peppers with everything but the bagel seasoning, pretty basic, but it's really good. Some string cheese, some yellow onions. I don't know why this camera is so out of focus right now. I'm so sorry. Got some pop tarts, some Nutri-Grain bars, some little tomatoes for salads. I got, I actually didn't mean to get this, but I will use it up for salads. Um, I was just gonna get this and chop this up for salads, but I also got this to have um, for like lettuce wraps for myself too. So I've got romaine hearts and then hearts of romaine chopped up. We've got some chicken apple sausage. I got this balsamic vinaigrette salad dressing so good some salsa for tacos i got two boxes of fruit snacks some baby bell cheese some uncrustables and then i got these kodiak cakes waffles so we have blueberry and then buttermilk and vanilla so that is everything oh wait and i actually i got five gallon jugs of water to add to our stockpile of water in the garage we I basically always just add like a case of water or um, a few gallons of water to every grocery order to stock up in case of emergencies. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? The boys are playing Mario Kart right now. It gets very intense. So I'm going to get all of this stuff put away. I did want to mention I'm going to make burgers for dinner tonight and I'm going to make my ooey gooey burgers. I had this recipe on my channel before but as you guys know i put all of my vlogs on private and took them off of my channel since i don't show the kids anymore really um so that recipe was in a vlog so i'm gonna make that tonight so i can update that on my channel because i get questions about that on instagram all the time like will you please share your ooey gooey burger recipe Just super easy super simple um but the one ingredient that you must have, you cannot make these burgers without this ingredient, is this burger sauce. It can't be special sauce or fry sauce. Like it has to be this special burger sauce. So this one is by Best Foods. Um, I think on the East Coast, it's the Best Foods is Hellman's, um, but on the West Coast, it's Best Foods. So just go to your grocery store um, and look for this burger sauce if you can't find it look on target or walmart and have it shipped to you i'm not kidding you cannot have these burgers without that sauce so write it down screenshot it if you have to and make sure you guys get that specific sauce but i'm gonna get berkeley her water and then um let's get all of these groceries put away and then we'll make dinner here actually in just a little bit it's almost four o'clock so once donnie gets home from work we're gonna bust out those burgers
Donnie's home from work, and he just challenged me to an arm wrestling match. You said, I bet you can't use two hands. And I said, I'm going to film it, because I know I can't. Hello. Can or can't? Can't. How would I use two hands? I don't know, just like that and then use your other hand. Okay, I'm using my whole body already. Three. <laughs> See if you can do it. Let's go, boo boo. <laughs> oh, she just pulls you down. <laughs> oh, great. Now they're going to start arm wrestling. Hi, Kids are all playing Play Doh. Daddy's home. Ow, ow. He's going <laughs> to. He's gonna shower and then we're gonna make dinner. Okay, so I just got a um, new vacuum in the mail. I'm gonna be working with this brand in March, but it's a robot vacuum that vacuums and it also has mopping capabilities and like zoning in your house and all sorts of stuff. So we just set it up. The kids have named him Jeff and he's hard at work already. So <laughs> that's exciting. But I'm gonna make dinner. So I'm gonna get out all the ingredients and I am going to do a voiceover for the recipe just because we got a movie in the background, the kids are all out here, the robot vacuum is doing his thing. So I don't wanna have to have all that in the background noise. So let's cook dinner. We're gonna need some mayonnaise, some ketchup. We were almost out and I didn't realize that when I was making this dinner. And then the burger sauce. You're also gonna need however much ground beef that you need for your family to make enough for everybody. Salt and pepper. You need some brown sugar, balsamic vinegar, and a yellow onion, as well as some cheddar cheese to slice up and some burger buns. I'm gonna start off by slicing up this onion into thin slices. And then you're gonna form your ground beef into your burger patties. You could totally buy frozen ground beef patties that are already formed. You could do turkey burger, you could do Beyond Meat, whatever it is that you wanna do for these burgers. Then I'm gonna melt about a tablespoon of butter in a pan and then add the onions once that is melted and season that with salt and pepper. You're also gonna season your burgers with salt and pepper on both sides, and we just have this cast iron skillet that I use on my stove top. Once the onions are soft and translucent, kind of, you're gonna add in a tablespoon of brown sugar and a good squeeze of that balsamic vinegar. I'm gonna slice up some cheese. The kids don't like cheese on their burgers. I keep telling them they're missing out, but they insist they don't like cheese on their burgers. So I'm putting cheese on the burgers that we want. The kids are just having their burgers plain with ketchup. I also tell them they're missing out on the ooey gooey burgers, but that's just how they like them. So here is the important part, the assembly of the ooey gooey burger. So first you're gonna do mayonnaise on both sides of the bun. Then you're gonna do ketchup. Like I said, I didn't really realize we were out of ketchup, so. I put as much as I could, and then the burger sauce. Then take a knife, spread that around, and get it mixed together. And this is Donnie's burger that I'm assembling here. He's having a double, he always has a double, so I'm gonna put both hamburger patties stacked on top of each other like this. And then you're gonna take a big heaping spoonful of the caramelized onions right on top, Put your burger together and there you have the ooey gooey burger and you can see why it is called that. Make sure you have lots of napkins. <laughs>
dinner is done. Brody and Berkeley unloaded the dishwasher. Brayden is currently loading the dishwasher. Good job, buddy. We're about to start the bedtime routine. We actually had a pretty late dinner tonight. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Let me know over on Instagram if you make those burgers. They are so stinking good. I made, what did I make last night, babe? Oh, I made marry me chicken last night. And what did I make the night before? Uh, sausage, pasta. sausage pasta. I was making these burgers tonight and Donnie's like, geez, three nights in a row of my favorite meals. Sausage pasta, marry me chicken, ooey gooey burgers. So anyways, thank you guys again for watching. I always appreciate all of your views. <laughs> we will see you in the next video. And if you Bye. want more videos, um, just keep subscribing. You're sweet, baby. Yeah. See you guys next time. Bye. Stop it. <laughs> Back here. Yeah. Get him. <laughs> that ended up in a dog pile on dad. <laughs> All right, guys. See you next time.